What is going on guys, it is Making Accessible here and welcome to a quick little test of the thing I was talking about yesterday in my video. I was talking about the brand new PS4 update yesterday which uh, allows for remote play to PC and Mac and uh, it's just now launched and I'm actually giving it a try and I gotta say it's working a lot better than I hoped. I was honestly really worried about how that is going to work and uh, you know if it'd be very effective or anything but uh, it seems to be working quite well. I did actually find yesterday there was um, a custom made application that's very similar for PC but it has quite a lot more input lag than this does. This one is actually quite playable so um we want to do with this is you definitely want to make sure you sort of have at least two monitors I'd suggest because honestly it's really not going to be so good for you if you're using just one monitor because you know you, well I mean you can do it with one monitor but you won't really be able to record so much um your gameplay because you'd have to you know display your ps4 monitor my point being that it's very difficult to play the game off of looking at the stream so if you're looking at your computer and trying to play it from there you're going to have some difficulty because obviously there's going to be a little bit of a delay and uh, that delay when you're playing an FPS game is rather difficult. It might be alright for playing other games and recording, but uh, for playing things like FPS games, uh, you really want to have at least two monitors. So what I'm doing at the moment is I have on my left monitor the actual PS4, and I'm playing on there with the controller plugged into my computer. And then on the right screen, I just have it mirrored displaying and also recording. So it's recording off my computer screen, which is recording the display on here. So uh, it's pretty interesting, actually. Um, I, I didn't really think it would work as well and uh, I'm definitely excited at the possibilities this opens up for me because uh, it means things like DLC videos are now going to be able to be on this channel early for you guys so when we have the new DLC coming out in just about two weeks time um, you know I'm gonna be able to bring you guys content for that which I'm obviously looking forward to very much so now the quality is not you know as full as you get with like a catch card or anything first of all it's only 720p uh, 60 FPS still it is 60 FPS which is obviously really good but you do only get 720p and also you'll notice it just doesn't look you know full quality like you get on the actual PS4 itself um, I do apologize for that guys but considering the fact that this is like a free option alternative to using a capture card I'd say it works pretty well because you know you can still see what's happening it would still work for you know zombies gameplay and everything like that uh, it just won't have you know that full quality you'd expect from actually playing the game so uh, if you're looking for absolute high quality when trying to capture your uh, console gameplay you definitely want to go with a capture card option but for something you know free and easy and uh, still being able to actually record this is definitely like the best option to go for because I mean it doesn't look horrible you can see you know clearly what's happening it's just uh, you know it's got a bit of a blurry effect it's just not extremely good quality but you can see what you're doing and uh, I'd say it actually looks quite well for what it is so um, yeah I'm definitely very happy with this one uh, unfortunately I'm not doing amazing in this game I do apologize guys I'm not on my best right now but I'm sort of trying to concentrate more on uh, talking than actually playing unfortunately oh, damn it, I got burned again but um, yeah this is really really cool because it means it opens up to a lot more video opportunities for you uh, the reason I don't usually do a lot of live games and stuff is because well I honestly do pretty horrible when I'm playing on PC but if I'm playing on PS4 I do a lot better um, I could tell you this would be a different story right now if I was playing on PC I'd probably be doing negatives but um yeah, so I enjoy playing on PS4 a lot more, and I do play it a lot more on PS4, so this allows me to do videos like live games and everything like that, and also just, you know, general videos and stuff on console just a lot easier. I can also obviously now record other games as well as COD, you know, sort of uh, console exclusive games, so if, like, say for my other channel I wanted to do some sort of gameplay for a new PS4 game, then I could actually record that using this sort of feature here, which would obviously be very useful indeed. I see you. Uh, I knew there was a guy behind me. I couldn't really do anything in time. I should be using my glitch ability more often. I found on console at the moment. I'm really liking the glitch ability. Uh, definitely my favourite. On PC, I use the purifier, but on here. Oh, damn it. That was annoying. On here, the purifier is not so effective, so I think glitch is probably one of the best abilities to use because uh, it can save your life quite often. I just don't really find the time that often to actually use it, which is my problem. But, uh, you know, it is very useful, so. I just sort of turned this into a live game now. Um, oh, sorry guys, I wasn't really trying to do this, but um, either way, it works well. And uh, obviously I can do more stuff like this in the future, which is really, really cool. I'm currently using the Man of War because I started liking it a lot more. Um, I was a bit sceptical to use it before, but um, I'm definitely glad I started using it now because it's a sick gun. Like, this gun is so good. It just kills people so quickly. I've dropped um, a 60 bomb two days ago I think and it was when I was playing kill confirmed so to get 60 kills in a kill confirmed game that's uh 
pretty impressive. I've never done that with any SMG or anything, but with this amount of war, I've actually managed to do it. So we're just going out to the end of the game here, and uh, I know this video was a bit short, guys, but I literally just wanted to show off the feature that I was talking about in yesterday's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy giving this a look. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. If you'd like some sort of tutorial or something on how exactly to do that, then also, of course, let me know, and I'll be sure to make a video telling you guys all about how to do this. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, please sure to leave a like on this video. It greatly helped me out in knowing you support the channel. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, as always, and I will catch you on another video. Peace out.